Thank you so much, Melissa and Anuja, for inviting me to do this. I miss all of you so very much and really can't wait for this to get over so I can be back in Godrej one with everyone again. Um, before I start, to you know, everyone, all of us at Godrej who are keeping safe, doing social distancing, um, working from home, I just want to urge everyone to constantly be thinking of others who are not as privileged as us. Whether it's migrant workers who are suffering immensely, as we all know, we can see, um, you know, in the news, whether it's sanitation workers who are still coming to work every day to keep people like you and me healthy and safe. Um, so many people. So I urge all of us, um, you know, who are still working um, to constantly keep on doing whatever we can in whatever capacity we can, whether it's in creating engagements with governments or civic bodies that we might be working with um, to ensure structural help or to help in any other way. And I'm really, really proud that our Godridge is doing so much in this regard, whether it's in donating to national and state level funds and, and different uh, NGOs, all of us ourselves through our salaries, um, you know, whether it's in the voluntary contributions have, have, have done so much and so many other corporations as well in our country are really rising up, you know, alongside us, whether it's Wipro and the Azim Premji Foundation or the Lalit Group of Hotels, um, you know, in Keshav Suri, whom, whom I know are, you know, hosting doctors in the hospitals and also helping so many marginalized communities uh, like the transgender communities with food and supplies. Um, you know, in addition to all these big efforts that people are doing at the government, at the corporate and at the NGO level, there are also uh, a bunch of smaller efforts that are being done in terms of community mobilization, you know, and uh, I work a lot on LGBTQ and my friends at Pink List uh, have a list of incredible resources. There's Ajivika Bureau, another NGO which is working on, on, on labor in Delhi, Karwane Mohabbat is doing incredible work. and what's absolutely amazing at this time is to see how many people are doing this at an individual level as well and we have some of these you know quiet heroes at Godrej itself like Sumit Gade from the Good and Green team who has been tirelessly working in Dharavi right from day one to provide relief and uh, Sumit and all our other heroes at Godrej I just want to say it's such a just honor to work alongside you and I hope that all of you who are watching this message um, try and become more and more like Sumit, you know. All of us at Godridge have so many privileges, uh, whether it's our time, our money, our voice, that we can really use to help others at this point. And I hope that all of us uh, at this moment rise up and and use these privileges and do whatever we can to help. Um, a situation like this hasn't come in the world. And so this is truly, truly, uh, this pandemic is, is historical. Uh, and grave for so many reasons. So it's time that we stand up. Now, uh, I want to share some thoughts on productivity because Anucha Melissa said that I should share these thoughts with you. And this is something that we've all been struggling with. Uh, my thoughts are actually very simple. At this time, I think we need both more structure and also more flexibility. Um, so at the Culture Lab, for example, we have both. Uh, in terms of structure, we begin each day with 11 a.m. video call with the entire team. And the team then actually works independently both before and after this. So instead of productivity, actually, we're using this time to reimagine what does it mean to be productive. And we're actually focusing more and more on the, the word we are using is meaningfulness, right? What are we doing um, as a team at work at this time, what is really meaningful and necessary and um, and what isn't. Um, many different teams uh, and people, and I think this would also depend on the function, on the nature of work that we all do. Um, at Godridge, we all do different kinds of work. Um, so, you know, based on that, I think there are different takes on whether in during this time we should have specific working hours and cut off work at a particular time um, you know, so beyond this is when office work ends and family time starts. And uh, my take on this is actually um, very, very different. I think we should really, really uh, empower our teams to work at whatever pace. So it, for some people, for example, even in my own team, there are 
fixed starting hours and there's a fixed closing hour. So there's a distinction between work time and family time, which people do make when they're working from home as well. Others like me weave our work and, uh, you know, family time, personal and family time in between our work time as well. So I think we should fixate less on what system people are following and more on actually what's useful to people in just getting things done. Uh, so what might, you know, as long as the outcomes are coming um, that we've all decided upon, how people choose to get it done, I think is something that we can really um, leave up to people. Um, a lot of people are utilizing this time to pursue hobbies, learning new art skills, reading books, taking online uh, courses. Actually, there's some great resources on my learning space on Godridge Right? If you haven't seen them, you know, please check them out. Um, at the same time, I think that it's perfectly okay if, you know, you are fine that you're overwhelmed and unable to um, to do any of these learning courses, etc. You know, it's a strange moment in the world and I think um, just doing one's job well and keeping one's mind and family together is itself a big enough thing. Um, and, you know, everyone is different. So, which is why we at Godrich have all these resources as options for you if you want to use this time in learning. But if you don't, that's completely okay as well, right? Um, whatever you choose to do or not to do in terms of that, I think it's quite vital that we all have some form of daily exercise. Um, I alternate between going for a 40-minute walk um, every day and um, honestly just cleaning my house, uh, cleaning our house. Uh, for me, it takes about half an hour to 45 minutes to do Jharu Pocha and I think one round of Jharu Pocha burns enough calories as, um, you know, the walk. And we've divided our work in such a way because my partner cooks really well. So he, you know, he does all the cooking and because he's so good at cooking, he has the privilege to sit tell that all the other housework is mine. Um, so every alternate day, you know, I don't do the, I don't do it every day. I mean, no one's coming over, right? It doesn't have to be spick and span. Uh, but I think, you know, whether it's cleaning, whether it's going out for a walk, whatever, do some form of exercise, um, you know, burn some calories. I think it's very, very important for our health at this time to be, uh, to be active. Let's not just sit in front of the TV to take a break from the computer. That's kind of silly. Um, finally, I would say let's make time, you know, try and find and make some time for love and connectedness. So if you're with your partner, with your families, um, make time to tell them, to talk to them, tell them how much you love them. If your families are away from you, do video calls and share these feelings uh, with them. I actually think that video is a good medium for, you know, difficult conversations as well. So for example, I've been talking a lot to my team about how I can lead them more effectively on video. And we've realized through video that so many things that might, we might not be able to have in a room, in a conversation, they're actually able to express to me over video. Um, so use this format well, but use this time to have these conversations um, and build on these connections. And as a final thought, I just wanted to share that I actually think that this is also a very good time to um, build resilience. And, um, you know, resilience is not toughness or, 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 or strength, right? Resilience is actually bounce back ability. How able are you to bounce back from um, situations? Um, and that is what resilience is. So I think for all of us, you know, as teams within Godridge and as Godridge itself, this is not what we had expected or planned uh, when we were planning this year ahead. Um, but how we bounce back is gonna define uh, who we are. So, for example, in my life, this is when I was going to be doing GLF. And we worked very hard the whole team full year for this. My two books were supposed to be coming out this month. We had a kick-ass annual plan for the culture lab. It's, you know, this is really not what I had planned for. And I don't think any one of you watching um, had planned for this, right? So suddenly all of this has changed. Um, do we lament? Do we rage? Uh, you know, or do we just accept the situation, be grateful for what we have and, and bounce back. Um, David Brooke, an author, has written that our character is forged in exactly situations like these. So um, what is our character as individuals as well as as part of the larger Godridge group? I think this is a really good time to think about, um, you know, what our character is and then shape it. 
um, so thank you once again for listening to me i hope this small message has been useful and i really really look forward to seeing you again soon